Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I will show you the tool that gonna change the design system industry. Hema company, the company behind the Token Studio plugin and the Style Dictionary Configurator and the Graph Engine, created a new tool called Studio Platform. This tool have everything in one place. So you can plan for your tokens, create your tokens, rename your tokens, make your tokens dynamic based on logic, create multi-theme and multi-brand, convert these tokens to JSON, export these tokens to any programming language platform, for example, like CSS, CSS, Swift, UI, anything, and also push these tokens to the server. And one of the most interesting thing is this tool has integration with our design tools. So what does this mean? That means a real meaning of one source of tools. So you can integrate this tool with Figma, Pimpot, InDesign, Framer, Blender. So anything you're gonna build on the Studio platform can be automatically sync and update your tokens and your design on your design tools. Okay, good. So let me take you around about this tool and some features, and I'll show you how this can save your time. So if you go to Tokens Studio website, you can see here we have a studio platform and you can take a look about all these features. At the beginning, you can see the integration between the other design tools. You can also view the token flow. So select any token and see this token actually attach it to any other tokens. What is the relationship between the tokens and so on? You can also create the themes and you can see here for example on the left side this is a studio platform and on the right side this is figma once you update anything here automatically update here so here you can convert all your tokens to any programming language for example css says and automatically you can view the themes variables or tokens you can copy you can download or you can push to the server this is talking about the integration between other tools okay and one of the good news here they have planned to announce soon about some license for freelancers, individuals, or small teams. So also for agencies, if you're working for multiple clients, multiple products, or multiple projects, you will have also a specific plans, okay? Some plans for creators and some plans for big companies, okay? So let me take you a look about this tool and show you some of these features, okay? If you know one of the free tools that Hima company actually published to the community is the Graph Engine. So Graph Engine here helping you to create a dynamic token set based on logic. Okay, so you can set the logic for contrast to control your colors, foreground and background, something like that. You can create a logic to control your typography sizes based on the desktop or mobile or tablet and so on. A lot of things. And the good news here is the Graph Engine is free and it will be a community behind this graph engine. So instead of you create anything here from scratch, you can go to the community and you can see what other designers and developers already built. So this save a lot of time for you. You can just download this graph and import it in your project. Let me show you one example here. So for example, this is a graph engine. So you can go here, let's say I will start with an example. So let's for example, say I need a color scale. So this is a color scale. So let me take you a quick look here. Here you set the color. Here you set how many steps up, how many steps down. That means the shades you need for this color to be generated. And also here you can set, okay, I need to add primary as a prefix at the beginning. You can see, for example, here, for example, let's say this is my secondary color. So you can see it's a change it here. Okay. And at the end, you can download this set okay as a json code for example okay but you can also here upload any other graph so any designer or developer in the community create a graph you can upload it here okay so don't worry about the graph engine if you feel it's complicated for you if you want to try it so in my channel on youtube i will cover every single details how we learn this graph engine and how we can actually use it Okay, so how this actually can help us? Let me show you one example. I will say, okay, I need here more shades. So for example, I need eight shades steps up and for example, let's say two shades step down. And what does this mean? You can see here, we have more, okay? If you say, for example, no, I need this one to be, for example, 20, okay, that's it. You can see here, we have many. You know what I mean? This is actually a massive time saver. And if you understand the logic behind all of this, you can do a lot of things. You can do a real dynamic tokens. Okay, good. So we'll be back here again because I want to show you how can actually I export all of this and pass it to 
my studio platform, then how we can pass it through our design tools, for example, Figma. Okay. So now let me show you actually the studio platform. So studio platform, you can create multiple organization. You can create multiple projects. Okay. So now I'm under an organization, for example, called FBT, and I have here some project so let's say what if i need to create a new project okay so let's say this is our new project okay and the good news here you also can start with something you don't need to start from scratch so let's say for example i want to start with the tailbone css library once you set use and create you will go here at the beginning before you can see your tokens you can see some tutorials uh, documentation for the studio platform you can see also some other tools about the plugins that are already compatible with the studio platform okay and if you go to tokens you can see all the tokens for tailwinds okay good what if i wanted to use a dynamic tokens already built on the graph engine so if you go to graph engine again okay so let's download this one okay and if i back again here to studio platform i can create a new set based on graph so let's say this one is tokens set based on graph okay so if you hit create you can see here this is empty graph you can navigate to the table here okay and you're back again so let's import our graph that we have downloaded okay so this is the output of this graph so maybe we just can link it here and in this case once you back to the table here you can see all your tokens in a table view this table view actually is really helpful because you can do a lot of things okay let me show you another project okay so for example let's say this project okay if i go to tokens you can see here i have some option tokens this is a token name this is a value okay and if i go to for example semantic or alias tokens you can see the reference if you have an error here you can see for example this will be colored red and also you can see here the row value the end value one of the good things here if i select multiple tokens for example i will select all of this i can rename it so imagine for example here the names are like font dot size after that large medium small large, blah 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 so i need to change this font for example to text so once i add font here you can see the font has been removed from here and i need to replace it for example with text so multi-edit here is really helpful you can also change the type okay so i need this one for example to be changed to font size for example okay you can do this so this actually saving a lot of time and now maybe you can imagine how much time you have saved because you can start with a template you can start with already a dynamic tokens built on the community on the graph engine you can download it import it in your project plus you can hear multi edit multi change at the end you can create also the themes and by the way if you created any project before on figma or to consider plugin you can export this tokens as a json code and you can import it here directly okay so imagine you don't need to start anything from scratch and you can see now we have planned for our tokens created the tokens renamed the tokens set the logic and everything happened in a few minutes okay saving a lot of time okay what else Let's say, for example, from themes, you can build your own themes, okay? I need, for example, brand A light, brand B dark, blah, 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 okay? So you can build the themes, and what does this mean? This means you can export the themes to any programming language, for example, CSS, and also you can control the syntax here, okay? So, for example, this is a camel case. If you need, for example, I need a camel case, okay? Here, let's say move camel case, and you can see here, once I save, you can see this already become characters and based on the themes you have built you can navigate here between the themes okay so for example here i can go to brand b dark okay i can go to for example brand a dark or light you can copy this code you can download it and also another feature is coming soon here you can push this to the server okay so a release feature will be here okay let me back again here to our new project because i want to show you actually how this tool actually integrated with our design tool okay so for example this is our global tokens and i will create some themes now i don't have any themes so let's create for example our new theme let's say for example this is brand a okay and under brand a i will create for example light mode for example okay okay then once i hit save i can have here the light mode i can select between what actually token set actually related to this theme or this brand so let's say for example i will enable this one and click save and what did this mean this mean if i go to figma i can grab all these tokens to figma okay so let me show you this example so 
if you go to Figma, let's say for example, I need to use a Figma variables. Okay, I will show you two examples, Figma variables and so plugin, how we can do this integration. Okay, so this is my variables. Okay, and here I will open the companion plugin. Okay, the same team created this plugin. And if you add your license, you can navigate between your organization and you can select your project. Once you select your project, you can see all the themes and all the brands here, all the modes, everything will be here. Okay. Once you hit create, you can see all the variables will be created. If you have a reference tokens also, you will see it here. If you have multi collections or multi modes or groups here, everything will be working fine with no issue. Okay, good. So what if I did some changes? So for example, they say here, this is a frame and this frame, for example, I will color it with color red 500. Okay, so let me show you here this example. So let's say this is color. 500 okay and if you go to studio platform and you take a decision to change that same token here let's for example change this color to any other color okay like this and once we hit save once we back again to figma you can see the changes here once you refresh okay so let's refresh you can see the color here and if you need to update this one also you hit create again you can see it's updated and actually this is steps you do need to do it manually because you can keep this one watching okay so this means every five seconds it will automatically check if there is some changes or not okay so if i back again here and i change this color for example to green i hit save once i back again to figma every five seconds see automatically updated and also if you deleted these variables you can restore it again and this is the meaning of one source of truth so i control the source over there okay on a studio platform okay let me show you also one other example let's cancel this i will show you one other example for tokens studio plugin okay so if i open the tokens studio plugin here okay we can start with new md5 you can see here we don't have any tokens but if you go to settings you can add a link between a studio platform and token store plugin so here you select your organization here you select your project and once you hit save okay you back again here you will find all your tokens and also let's do the same example i will do a frame here and i will color this frame with this token and what did this mean i can also go here to studio platform and i can change this color to any other color okay so this means once i back again here i can just hit refresh here to get the new tokens you can see here the token name and the value before and after once you pull this it changes you can see it's updated here once you apply to the page you can see it's already here there is one more thing also i forgot to tell you about the graph engine the graph engine actually has a feature here you can add the code component let's say for example on figma as a designer we have a button okay we have a button component also developers have this component as a code the developers can go to graph engine and they can implement this code so they can review the button here as a design and they can also see the code next to it and based on the logic here they're gonna build as a dynamic tokens they can review the changes automatically here i will also give you some other videos in the video description so from my personal opinion, this tool is a mind blowing. This is gonna change the design system industry, at least because they save a lot of time. If you build a design system before, one of the pain point is if I need to implement the design tokens the concept to my design system, this will take a lot of time. Yeah, months is from you, especially while you are planning, uh, creating tokens, applying, renaming, think about the naming and so on. And after that, what if I want to edit? What if I need to also think about the scalability? I can see the studio platform saving all of these pain points. They save a lot of time, okay? And this graph engine is super powerful and it's free and the community will be behind it. So you gonna save a lot of time and manage your design system or multi-theme design system in one place. Imagine, studio platform actually is alpha version right now. So it's not open for everyone. I'm one of the a few lucky designers that have an access to uh, try this tool, give the team feedback. We have a direct contact with them. Thanks for Hema team to giving me a chance to try this tool and also share feedback to make it more user-friendly and helpful for everyone. So 
If you have been working in a design system team before and you need to try this tool, so contact me. Maybe I can try to give you also a free access to try it and let's learn together. If you need to know more about this, follow me and subscribe to YouTube channel. Also, you can join the Telegram community. So let me know your questions, your concerns. I can share it with the team. If I don't have an answer and I back to you again, I usually reply to all the messages. Let me know also what's your opinion about this tool. Is this tool actually going to change the design system industry as I mentioned before or not? So I love to hear from you and if you want to learn more about the studio platform and you are interested in design system and design tokens follow me and wait for the new videos i'm gonna teach you every single feature in studio platform and graph engine that's it for today see you again bye